You knew, you knew what was coming. You knew what was coming. This is my list of past wrestlers and newer wrestlers. And, well, it basically, it's, it's kind of uh, like past wrestlers that was in WWE, but it's not in WWE anymore. But it's, it's, it's mostly past, it's, I, don't, I don't know. But this is my, this is a, uh, my list of the wrestler, the, uh, my least favorite wrestlers. The first person on this list is Nia Jax. You know what's crazy? It's crazy that I can have a good match with you in a fucking video game than in real life. Then I see you in real life. You're having fucking trash matches. Go away. Go away. And I heard that you freaking uh, injured somebody again. Y'all saw the video. If, uh, if y'all haven't saw my rant on freaking uh, uh, on Nia Jax, watch the video. That's all I'm going to say. Just watch the video. Watch the video. I'm not going to say anymore. Just watch, just watch the video. Baron Corbin. Now, they messed Baron Corbin up. They fucked Baron Corbin up. Like, this man. I, like, I'm not going to lie. When he first came on the, on the roster, I was a big fan of Baron Corbin. But since when he lost the freaking uh, Money in the Bank contract, I, like, I was like, okay. Like, what the fuck? What, what was the point? But okay. And then, in 2018, they had this man turn into Constable Corbin. And then, in 2019, that's when King Corbin was created. They did this guy dirty, bro. They did this guy dirty, bro. Like, fuck Baron Corbin. Like, just fuck... Like, his fucking gimmick is dead. That's why I hate him. They making me hate him now. Eva Marie. Now, it, it was reports that you were supposed to come back. And wrestle. I'd rather for you to sit on my face. I'd rather for you to give me a lap dance than you wrestle. Okay? So stay out of my wrestling. Charlotte motherfucking Flair. Now, Miss Flair. <sighs> Charlotte Flair is a fucking, like, I, I don't know. Like, I know she's uh, Ric Flair's daughter. Or she's going to get everything. Yes, she's getting pushed right now because she's Ric Flair's daughter. Yes, she is. You don't got to agree. She's getting pushed right now because it's Ric Flair's daughter. She's getting pushed down our fucking throats. Like John Cena used to get used to be. Now he's on his list. Hey, fuck fuck Charlie Flair, man. Like John Cena. This guy was almost like I would say the worst part. When I first started got into wrestling, he was the worst part of wrestling. John Cena was the worst fucking part of wrestling. I fucking hate this dude. Like when he was a, hey, now he's a, he's he's like okay, like I don't have no ill will against him now, but when he was like when he was uh taking spotlights from freaking um talent, I fucking like I just fucking like like this this they shoved him down his throat. They shoved Vince McMahon shoved John Cena down our throats. For, for real, he did. Braun Strowman. <clears throat> Braun Strowman. When you come out, you say Braun. When you come out, you yell Braun, right? And when you and and when you come out, I say Yawn. Your fucking Universal Championship rank was fucking terrible. Braun Strowman, you're not a fucking good. You're not a fucking uh good Russell. Oldberg. 
Now, I used to be a big fan of Goldberg. But after what he did, I cannot forgive him for that, man. I cannot. I still can't forgive him for that. I'm sorry. I don't forgive him for that. If the Fiend won the Royal, if, the, if Drew, if Roman, if uh, Goldberg won the championship and the Fiend won the Royal Rumble and all that stuff and they fight at WrestleMania, fine. I don't even want to see Goldberg win the championship. Goldberg, stay away. Stay away, please. The Hulkster. <clears throat> Hulk Hogan, brother. This guy's overrated, man. God. Like I don't understand how like the other popular like the um the older generation like this dude man like he was not an OG like I don't I didn't I don't look at him, at him as an OG like fuck what he did in freaking uh in WCW honestly WCW used him right WCW used him right when he came into WWE. Uh, well, WWF at the time, and he came back as the, the, um, freaking, uh, Hollywood Hogan, yeah, he got, he, he, I'm not gonna lie, I actually liked him, but now, like, I lost total respect for him after what he said, man, I still, I still don't forgive him, man, I still don't forgive him. And you let a fucking Lars Sullivan. Y'all who blast a Lars Sullivan, but don't. Matter of fact, you know what? I'm not going to even get into it. Because uh, cause number one, fuck Lars Sullivan. Lars Sullivan goes to fucking hell. Like, I don't care about Lars Sullivan. Well, it well is the big slow. By the way, the big slow, all your World Away Championship reigns was fucking terrible. You beating Cody at Russell at uh at the 2012 uh, WrestleMania was fucking terrible. Now I give you props. You was one of the worst. I'm not gonna lie, real talk. You was one. You and Kane was one of the worst things in 2014. Literally, you and Kane. Big Show, go away. I don't want to see you on television. And by the way, you made, they made, uh, by the way, you had a match with Drew McIntyre that you didn't fucking earn. You slapped, you slapped Drew McIntyre into a, you slapped, uh, Drew McIntyre told you no, you slapped him. And you said, oh, I'm gonna just have, oh, like, Okay. Okay, um, I don't know where to start. I don't know where to start. And I'm not blaming Great Khali. I am not blaming, blaming Great, Great Khali, man. I'm blaming Vince McMahon. Vince McMahon is the one that created him. Vince McMahon was, uh, was the one that let him wrestle. He can't move that well. He can't. I'm gonna just say it's let say I'm gonna just say it like it is. Great Kali could have been great, but his condition and all that stuff, it, it, like he, that's why he's not a good wrestler, cause it is his because his condition and his size. I'm not gonna blame Great Kali. I'm gonna blame Vince, cause Vince, cause Vince let him wrestle. So. Oh my god. Here we go. Cry back. This motherfucker. Um This guy, like I fucking hate this dude, man. I fucking really fucking hate this dude. I used to I used to be a big fan of him in 2013. But this fucking guy is so fucking just Cocky, bro. Like, he just so fucking annoying. Telling Vince McMahon. I think, yeah, one time he told Vince McMahon, uh, 
uh, th this uh, Earth will be back. Oh no, no, I don't even think he said Vince. I think he said somebody else. He told somebody that uh, the world, the world will be better off without you. Fucking dick. And you get on somebody like a freaking uh Joe Cronin. In 2017. For calling your ass out. For being a dick. So fuck you, Robert. Fuck you. I, I I don't have nothing. I don't have nothing. And you call wrestling fake? You call the freaking you call wrestling freaking fake? You you are disrespecting wrestling? Fuck you then. Like this you disrespecting wrestling? Fuck you then. Go suck a big one. Go suck a big cock. Fucking goon. That's my that's my list. That's my list. No, I'm not. I'm going to get a lot of hate. I'm going to get a lot of hate. I don't care. I don't give a fuck. So that's my that's my list. What is your list down below? What is your list? So that's it for this video. I love you guys. Take care of yourselves. Stay safe. Wear a mask. I'll see you guys next time.